Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I am here to do the weekend reading for the sign of cancer. I hope everyone had a wonderful week and your weekend is starting off great under this full moon in Sagittarius, which is an absolutely positive, happy, uplifting moon. Okay, so I hope everyone's doing well. Let's get into this, see how your weekend's going to go. This is a general reading, so take a resonates, leave the rest. You already know what to do with love shows up, reverse throws as needed. Okay, all right. Your overall energy cancer is the king of pentacles, okay? You might be being a little lethargic this weekend or whenever you see this video. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with the Cancer Collective? What message do you have for them for this weekend of May the 4th, 2024? Or whenever they are guided to this video. Those cancers that have subscribed, liked, shared our videos. Those that, have, uh, that are divinely guided here. Welcome. What's, what's the message for those cancer spirit? Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. We got the nine of wands, the three of pentacles, the four of cups in reverse, and the king of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we got the sun, Leo energy, okay? This could be you because y'all neighbors on the zodiac, but this is all about happiness, okay? Let's clarify this. Just looking at this, it looks like you're devising a plan. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. That four cups in reverse. What does it talk about? Come on. Yeah, new instructions and new relations. Okay. You may be uh, guarded against a new relationship. But it looks like one's coming anyway. You're being told to balance yourself, Cancer. Yeah, you're going to be happy again. Let's see what's going on here. The Nine of Wands. Why is this here? For the Cancer Collective Spirit. Why is the Nine of Wands here? For the Cancers. Or are you devising a plan? I don't know. Why is that Nine of Wands here? Thank you. Two Nines. What is that? Receipts. So it looks like you're strategizing a plan here for your happiness. And while you're doing that, somebody's coming back from the past to make you an offer or, or give you an invite. The Three of Pentacles. Why is this here? For the Cancer Collective, the Three of Pentacles, this card, work, nobility, balance, why is the Three of Pentacles here for the Cancer Collective? These cards feel so heavy, I don't know why they're feeling that heavy, okay. We got the King of Wands. It looks like you're being admired for or for because you're fine. People want you. Yeah, you're very magnetic. Yeah, you got people out here daydreaming about you, Cancer. Look at <laughs> you got people out here daydreaming and fantasizing. Why is this four of cups here? Thank you. Yeah, and you're gonna get uh some um instructions or something or a new relationship. And it's going to make you so happy. Oh my goodness, I can't make this up. Oh my goodness gracious. 
give a little more card for that uh four of cups in reverse. You got the Queen of Cups, which which is um you loving on yourself. Okay. Snap out the illusion that you're alone because you are loved, Cancer. King of Cups. Why is this here? Why is the King of Cups here, Spirit? Yeah, that's what that's telling me. With that Four of Cups and that Queen of Cups. Snap out that illusion that you're alone because you're not. You're loved. The King of Cups. Thank you. The Knight of Wands in Reverse. That's not a good energy right there. You're trying to be balanced, but things aren't going as planned. This reading feels like it's just all over the place. You're strategizing a plan for your happiness. You're being you're being admired. People are admiring you. It's absolutely wonderful. But you over here. Feeling like you alone in the world, but you're, you're being told that you're loved. Stop that. And you're trying to balance yourself with that King of Cups. Let's see what else the King of Cups means. Fair, responsible, kind. Creative energy. Openly emotional. Always in their power. Supportive. Family oriented. Finding balance. Yeah. Between your mind and your heart. Balance in all things. Liked by most. Loving and caring. Definitely. See what it Yeah. That night of wands is really a doozy. It's not finishing projects, cancel travel. Biting, abusive, and jealous, competitive, interruptions, delays, and setbacks. I don't know why that's up. So you need to balance yourself during this time, okay? We got the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And we got the Hierophant. Give us one more card for that King of Cups, please. Loving, caring, balance, and all that. But that Knight of Wands is a violent, abusive, and jealous, competitive energy. An arrogant prick. Yeah, you need to put that down. Things aren't going as planned. Not finishing projects. You're trying to be balanced, but things just aren't going well. And it's telling you to put, put things down. It almost looks like a breakup. Is it telling them that they need to, that they're dealing with somebody that's an arrogant prick? 
that's violent and abusive and you need to get away from them because it's stressing you out. And you got well, you got everything you need and you know you know that you deserve better. And it's coming. You're going to have happiness. It's going to be a time to celebrate. Let's keep going. And then we got the Hierophant over here. The card of marriage and spirituality. Connecting with a higher power, authority. Gemini energy. We got the, the, the Hierophant, the Magician, the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's what it is. Wow, that was kind of rough. So the King of Pentacles is about you being lethargic, okay? And you're trying to balance yourself behind this division or this loss with this Knight of Wands. And you're being told to put that down. Okay? And I think it's about a marriage. And what's jumping out this card at me are these two keys. But those wasn't keys when I was looking at it. It looked like some scissors. So it's telling you that... Put that past relationship down that you that, that that marriage that you uh was uh that you're being lethargic about because you got everything you need it's time it's been a painful time but it's time for you to put that down okay cancer put that down and stand in your power it's time to walk away from that whole situation okay and if this person is being abusive you're still being told that this marriage is no longer working you got everything you need. The most high got your back. It's time for you to put an end to it. And move on. Okay. That's exactly what that's telling you. Wow. This was interesting. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Because you're being sought after. People want you. Yeah. Yeah. You need to start working on putting an end to this whole uh, debacle. That's, that's what it's telling you. You need to put the work in to put an end to this inner turmoil that you're suffering. Or to this abuse that you're suffering. You're being told that you need to put an end to it. And go after a brand new beginning. No matter how old you are is what I just heard. Okay. Yeah, it's time to put an end to that, that whole thing and sit in your power because you're attractive, you're magnetic, you're fruitful, you're beautiful energy. You're being told it's time to move on. Anything for the Cancer Collective Spirit, any type of abuse, whether it's mental, physical, it doesn't matter. You're being told to get out. Get out, Cancer. And people want you too. They're watching you. People, people, they, they just love you. Okay. You don't deserve to be treated. I heard like a dog. Mm -mm, don't do that to yourself. Yeah, ain't nothing coming out of here. So what is they what are they reminiscing on with that King of Pentacles? Or is this just about an older individual here? Oh, you reminiscing on a time when you was happy? Ask your question, Cancer. Any answers for the Cancer Collective Spirit? Thank you. Any answers for the Cancer Collective? 
Yeah, you're being told to put, uh, put, start putting in the work to get out of that energy. Okay, look for a sign. Get your answers. Communicate clearly. And be assertive. Fight back. They put their hands on you. Put your hands on them. Hmm. I don't like that. Yeah. You do, don't be doing that. I got numbers in my uh, about section down in the comments, I think it is. Or my about section. I got some numbers. If anyone is suffering from domestic abuse, okay? Don't don't let allow nobody to make you their punching bag, whether it's mental or physical. Okay? Don't do that. All right. You guys, if you took anything from this reading, like, share, and subscribe. And you know what I always say on weekend readings, cancer. Say it with me. Make it a great weekend on purpose. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.